Hello, everyone, and welcome to Joe H Podcast, episode number 14. And I am here with three great people. We have Demi May. We have the, the new. I was gonna say I was gonna say the current, but you know it's still new, so we're just gonna go with it. The new one half of the tag team champions, Johnny V, and we have the former one half of the world tag team champions, Jake Orton. Screw job. Oh, uh, yeah. Now. <laughs> Now, what we're going to talk about this week is Showdown and Demolition. We did our Royal Rumble edition, and it's already up on our YouTube channel, so make sure you go check that out. But let's uh, talk about Showdown, and we had three matches. But first, let's, how is everyone doing so far? How's the week? I'm still pissed off about fucking Cincinnati. Um, and, and what makes um, you say that? Well, first of all, you had told me earlier in the day, Adrian, that there would be no interference whatsoever. So answer me this. Where in the fuck did Xavier come from? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know, too. Because well, not only did he screw over Bullet Club in that match, he screwed over Demi. But I'm not here to bitch and moan about it because fact of the matter is, and you're going to hear this first on the podcast... We have a member to the club, and she is the former international champion. The rightful, should still be, world heavyweight champion, Demi May. So, Mwah. Well, if you watch the replay, which you can watch it on the network and also on our affiliates as well, it shows Xavier jumping over the barricade. You yeah. Didn't? Didn't exactly say interference from the crowd because again we don't expect the crowd to jump over the barrier, but it happened. That is taken note. That so, is taken note. That means I can use that. Oh. Yeah, I want Xavier oh. to take note on the ass whooping I'm gonna fucking give him Thursday, because you know it ain't gonna be Jake Gordon showing up to that match. It's gonna be some far fucking worse. Oh so really? Take note. All right. But um, what happened on Showdown was we had three matches. One was Xavier versus L- Luvia Luna. And obviously Xavier won. Um, however, what happened after the match? Well, Kobe got involved and he went Kobe. after Xavier. But um, it's Colby. I did say why not Kobe. I Calm said, down. He Kobe. said it right. Calm the fuck down. He said it right. I said it right, so don't you go off. You and your, your American language can't say our names. Uh, 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 just because the club extends overseas does that mean we have to interrupt the boss here. I mean, after all, he is letting us coexist until a hostile inter- takeover. So. Yeah, but sometimes you have to, no offense, you have to shut up. No. <laughs> so... Now, jo- Johnny V, you've been pretty quiet. Uh, is everything guys right? it all out, I'm letting them all have it. You know, they got their drama going on. I don't deal with drama. I just deal with ass whoopings. All right. Okay. I- okay. Now, Colby, as Demi would like to say it, uh, went after Xavier after the match and uh, tried to get, I guess you could say, get some of his. But uh, Xavier escaped, jumped over the barrier, left. Um. So it seems that Colby is not happy with Xavier overall, and it showed it this week. That had nothing to do with the brother-sister talk we had earlier on in the week at all. Okay. It should have stayed pure. (laughs) The match at Rumble should have stayed pure. Xavier showed up. He's even had him jump his fucking ass as soon as he walked into the building in Chicago. He better be happy because, you know, I went there, I Hold you out, boss man. I dealt with you the way I wanted to. I'm going to deal with Xavier Thursday. And then at Road to WrestleMania, we're getting our damn titles back. Well, because there ain't going to be Xavier to stop us this time. Well, <laughs> as I will say this, just to be glad that I was in a good mood. Yeah, because of the simple fact that you didn't fire me like I thought you might. 
No, so. I don't. I don't do that easily. I I, I like to torture people first. As yeah, uh, blowing people up in a ring. That too. Well, no, that wasn't me. That was Riley. It was Ry still Riley. one of you hearts. No, like, even though it wasn't me, Riley's a little crazier, and she hung out with her Aunt Eliza the most. So you could tell where the craziness kind of came from. Uh, yeah, you think he could control all these little hearts that are running around? I mean, he's not Stu Hart after all, so. No, but, uh. Moving on, uh, we had CM Punk versus Lance Adams, and CM Punk got the win. It was a very good match between the two. Uh, both of them wanted to show that they wanted to go after the international title, and uh, CM Punk was just a better man. So I think he's getting closer to getting that title shot. Well, if oh, yeah, he I'm gets any punk. closer, he'll have to go through me first. And... Why does he look like somebody who won the Rumble? Who knows? Or, or maybe it's the other way around. Who knows? But yeah. uh, um, that, that is a very good point. It's a doppelganger. Perhaps. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, but like JB said, he's he's digging. You know, we're starting to dig Punk. He's doing uh, he's doing very well. JB, what do you have to say about CM Punk? He's got talent. He's got talent. Week in, week out, he performs. I mean, what more do you need from a guy? Show up and put on a show, and the kid keeps doing it. So kudos to him. Looks like he's got a bright future. This I true. will I will agree with that one. He has a bright damn future. I would not be surprised to see him as world champion very soon. I, don't like I won't go that far now. Now, come on. <laughs> I, I, will. Will. I will. I have, I'm like Booker T. I got my faves. It's more than five, but I have my faves, and two of them are on this podcast. Johnny V, I didn't get to say congratulations to you and Levinator on the last podcast, but congratulations, even though... I spoke nothing but positives about y'all. You, oh, we you talk shit. That's you our job. Ass. Plain and simple. Can't wait to tear the house down with y'all again in the next pay per view. We'll do it. We'll okay. do it. Now, of Just course. Keep, keep that Brit on her side of the ring, though. I don't trust Demi. <laughs> no. Demi's got the world heavyweight title to worry about at this point. So she better. Well, I mean, well, let's go back a little bit. There was there was a pretty good uh, segment between uh, the new world tag champs, Lovinator and Johnny V, right here. And uh, apparently, uh, they're not. I mean, even though Bullet Club's got the rematch, they're not done with Bullet Club altogether. They're going after one specific person, and that's Tio. My best doing exactly baby. what the hell I told him to do. That's he's all just my he's plan. just being to you. Know, just because He's of the fact that we lost does not mean I don't get revenge like that. Yeah, but he let's let's just let's just say what it is. <laughs> Tio cost you guys the the, the match. He, he did. He, he, he I mean he 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 got distracted. We'll say that. Yeah, we'll grant him That's that. But it, he's still green. He still has to learn from two of the best, and me and Demi. Mm -hmm. I mean. There's a co-leadership here to Bullet Club. I'm still the head guy, but Demi's the other leader of it. Tio still got to learn from two of the best. And, you know, I take matches as learning experiences. He, he didn't learn very much Sunday. But afterwards, remember, I, we sat down. We had a damn meeting. I told him, I said, you have to make up for the fuck you did. If it wasn't for you, we would still be champions. Go make an impact. Go show me that you still belong. And he did. So. Okay, fair enough. And now, uh, also, there was uh, another segment with uh, Ryan Payne and Jacob Cass, which led to a match coming up on this showdown, a Detroit street fight between those two. And Ashley Renee, the newly crowned international champion, is going to be on commentary. So that's going to be an interesting match. But uh, let's get to the main event of last week's showdown real quick. It was Colby and Damage. And I think this, this was the first time, or at least the second time, where you don't see the Devil's Rejects as a team 
this was the this was like the second show i believe it was the second time yes because of of the fact that a couple months back it was mr johnny v himself the man i'll be probably called the greatest athlete of all time he beat the respect out of me it was him versus i think xavier colby one of them two xavier me yeah xavier against me so yeah i think that was the first time out there two that the rejects ain't been a team so uh no this is the that was the second time this was the third week okay third and uh and it seems like colby was a little i guess he was pissed because of earlier but what did did you guys think that he was a little nervous because he he came out by himself (laughs) he's usually in a team and this is the first time he faced... He has never faced anyone on his own before. Oh, okay, so... In this... the whole of his wrestling career. It's always okay. been me or Xavier. Okay, so he's he was nervous. However, uh, Johnny B, you, have you seen damage in action, right? What do, you, what do you think of him? Oh, I said that a couple weeks ago. The kid's good. The kid's good. You just, I mean, big, imposing, consistent improving and that's the biggest thing you know that was my whole gimmick to come back was to teach some of these guys new things or just kind of look out for what's the next player in the game started with nick sanderson damage cm punk there's some good young talent on this roster and they keep improving and hey the kid had the main event and he walked out the winner that's pretty goddamn good and the funny thing about damage too is this is not the first company me and damage have run across each other we were in the you know we were in the other fed one that we can't fucking talk about. And, you know, Damage, you know, he gave me a good showing that night. So whenever Adrian books for me and Damage have faced each other a couple of weeks ago, I was hoping the kid would learn. He didn't fucking learn, and he's still lost. But he's one guy I'd keep a fucking eye on, straight up. Yeah, and this week he pretty much showed that he was the better man of the two. Uh, maybe Colby was still nervous facing on his own. But then after the match, uh, Xavier showed up. <laughs> uh, and he went after Colby while he was still down. Mm-hmm. And even though um, Colby fought back, like surprisingly, um, it didn't end there. Damage ended up hitting him with a biker chain, knocking him out. So it seems. Typical that, damage. So it would seem that damage not only won the match, but he kind of made an impact on on the rejects, so to speak, at least in the He first... didn't make an impact. Oh, you know, biker chain. Oh, I'm, I'll be so scared. Of a I've gone through chain. more shit than a fucking biker chain, okay? I've gone through damn glass like, tables. Can I just point like, out okay. that we're a Rian? You we're... do realize what that means, right? Well, it doesn't... Yeah, I but, it, sat, yeah, I, yeah I... but here's the thing, Demi. It doesn't matter. He Colby still got knocked out by Yeah, damage. but you're saying that he made an impact. Well, he didn't make an impact. Well, JV, would you say that he made an impact? Even because he won the match and he knocked one, out one of the Yeah, rejects. when he won the match, yes. But attacking him with the boy chain didn't do anything for him. No, that's a punk-ass move. That's basically the punk car being thrown down. Saying, I don't hit you. I've hit you. What the fuck are you going to do? And I've been in the ring with Colby. I cannot wait to see what he does. But oh, trust speak, me, I had speaking to. Of Colby, okay. Speaking of Colby, speaking of Colby, Demi, you need to have a talk with your brother because me and you've been discussing plans all week, and uh, things about Tommy put that plan to action. Mhm. Oh yeah, no, I am. I've been having a few words with him. I will be having some more later when he yeah. gets home. You no. better. Now, the next card we have coming up for this week on Showdown, uh, we have six matches, as always, and they're very good matches the way that, that I made the card, so we're going to go over them real quick. Uh, I did love it. Uh, match one is Aphrodite versus Luvia Luna. Uh, match two is two debuts, actually. These these two came from Demolition, and they're, they're making their debut against Travis Levette. It's a triple threat match. Soraya Waters versus Travis Levette versus Marius. I have a question. JV, if I could steal your line real quick about Marius. Who? 
Yes. Yeah, well, like I said, he's making his debut, so he's going to show it. what he can do. Now, Matt He's Sabrini. making his debut against the former Bombshells champ and a guy that took fields to the limit a few weeks ago. Good fucking luck, kid. This is called being thrown in deep waters. Yeah, but here's also something, too. He did get, Travis LeVette did get eliminated by John Blade in the Royal Rumble match. Blade will eliminate everybody, okay? Blade's good. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. All right. He just now, needs teaching. R- okay. All right. And now match three is Johnny V with Laminator in his corner versus Niobe Martin. Who? So Johnny I'm v. shaking in my boots. <laughs> well, Johnny I'm v. scared. I'm legitimately frightened. Really, I am. <laughs> If you also <laughs> failed to mention, I just won't have Levinator in my corner. Bullet Club's adding all these guys. Well, old school went and got the greatest manager of all time, the nature boy Ric Flair, back in action on okay. showdown in my corner. So okay. I'm so not worried about a damn thing going forward. You now, brought Ric Flair back to WWH? Ask him how yes. the other team did against us. Ask him. Hey, this is not the same nature boy. He's back where he belongs with the real athlete Johnny V and the big man. Levinator, and we're going to show the world old school ain't going nowhere. Ain't now, going nowhere. Well, here's well, the let thing. me see if I can do it. Well, <laughs> well, here's the thing. Johnny V, even though Johnny V's not scared, not not in the rumble, Niobe did throw some good shots at JV. Let's not forget that. Like, Niobe he was probably to- drunk during that rumble. He She didn't punch the best Johnny V that there was. But regardless, she's shit kicked out of me by like 30 other guys. So, I mean, they all look alike after a while, you know? <laughs> they really do. I'm not going to lie. You know, once you hit the pipe too many times, you, it starts to blur and everything. But Johnny V, please send that bitch back to demolition. Please. Oh, I ain't and, got a problem with that. And do it in pieces, man. Please. All right. And match four, we've got Xavier versus Jake Gordon. He's going to die straight up. All right. And match five, a Detroit street fight with Ashley Renee on commentary, Jacob Taz versus Brian Payne. I believe I believe this could be a contendership match to speak because even though Ryan is basically saying he's going after Ashley and going after the international, Jacob Taz kind of made it known that he was interested in the international, perhaps. And I, like, I and, would like to call a potential match in night right there. Okay. And finally, the main event, it's Nick Sanderson and Finn Balor versus Chris Matthews and Damage. That's not going to be easy for the the Rumble winner. I've been there with Matthews. If he has his head screwed on straight, Matthews is dangerous. But, Chris, if you're listening to this, do not trust Damage. Don't. You're better off on your own. All right. Now, JV, what do you think of this main event right here? Sanderson, Balor versus Matthews and Damage. I, I got to kind of agree. If Matthews heads in the game, head in the game, he's got a chance. But you're talking about Nick Sanderson, who I've been preaching for for months. Now you all finally starting to fucking realize it as he's heading into WrestleMania as the number one contender. This kid's the real deal. And he's on a roll. He's on a roll. So I'm not going to hedge my bets against, you know, the horse. You know, ride it. Sanderson's going to do this by himself. You talk about Matthews not trusting damage because he doesn't need him. No, Sanderson don't need nobody in this thing, and he'll whoop everybody's ass. That's a very good point right there. And, now, Johnny, I will agree with you. I've been that other company with Sanderson. I've seen his work. I've seen what he can do. I'm just surprised that it took him so long to get up to this level. So... All right, now here's one thing. Uh, there, they did. Matthews and Sanderson did talk on Showdown, and it looks like it's going to happen at Road to WrestleMania. It's going to be an Iron Man match between Sanderson and Matthews, one hour. So Ooh, I saw that. Yep. Ooh, yeah, they they can do it. Good. Yeah, I'll lift the building after my shit. So. Yeah, so um, also there's going to be scheduled appearances from the new internet, obviously from the new international champion, Ashley Renee, since she's already going to be on commentary. She's already going to be there. CM Punk, Randy Fields, Tio is going to be there as well. Yes, he will. Obviously. I'll drag his ass out the bed and make him go. Yeah. No, um, he'll be with me. He's already... He'll be with us. He'll be with the club, all right? 
When he'll be with me during your match. But I can't what? tell you that afterwards he won't be hyper. Well, the thing oh. about it, though, is, is y'all going to be down there in the, at ringside anyways. So, yeah. Also, I don't trust Xavier. Also, Equinox, Colby will be making an appearance. Ace Andrews, Juniper Stevens, which is Nick Sanderson's manager, and Fedor Svedoff. So You're bringing Fedor back? He's a damn hospital after that damn glass table he went through? I'm going to have not, to put him through another one? Well, you got to... Obvious, obviously, whatever it was, he's he's gonna be there. So, goddamn zombie. <sighs> well, hey, I don't I don't judge what he does. We could always torture a zombie. I'm gonna put him through another damn glass table. Now let's talk about demolition. Uh, what happened on demolition? It was a very good showing. Like as like we said on the Royal Rumble, even Johnny V would probably agree that the demolition roster came to fight at the Royal Rumble. They oh, yeah. they did, I won't lie, and I don't really pay attention to them, so I'm going to stay out of this one. Uh, okay. I do. I do. And, you know, because I was one of the biggest proponents of, you know, screw dark matches. Give these kids their own shot. And a month later, you're starting to see that come to fruition. There's some real talent down there, and there's some real heavyweights. They're really starting to shine. Yeah. yeah. And, but, and, Adrian, how many people have you promoted up from Demolition so far? Two. two well, people. I'm... I'm hoping to see more. I may yeah, have to well, start paying attention. They got to well, prove it. They got to, yeah. It's, I mean, when we promoted Soraya and Marius, they proved it. Um, Soraya was ready to go up the next level. We even, I even talked with her at a meeting about, you know, because we were going to, I was going to give her a raise, which I did. And <laughs> however, where's mine? It, you you got to earn it. Um, Not being, being the one of the two, Two time champions since relaunch. I haven't earned it. All right. You're getting paid like five million a week, so I don't hear you bitching. That's a good point. All right, I'm happy with five million. So, but um, Soraya, <laughs> I asked Soraya, and I said, okay, it, we're thinking of promoting you, but since she's mainly going after the bombshells at the time, I told her like, if we're gonna promote you, there's no bombshells title on Showdown. There's no women's there's no women's title. So you either have to go after one of the main three. And she said, I was, she said, and I quote, I was thinking of branching out anyway. So this is a good chance to, for her on showdown this week to prove that she belongs on showdown. She's hmm. already showed it on demolition that she can destroy most of the bombshells. So now she's literally, yeah, but as, now can she destroy the men as well? That's can, pretty much. She what's. can't beat Annalise apparently. So, well, those two have been going at it, but in the end, um, hey, she retained yeah. She retained against Annalise, I believe. So even though she lost against Morgan, that pretty much closed that chapter. So, it did. And I'm, I want to say something real quick. Johnny V, not to steal your thunder, not to steal what you've been preaching for weeks, but demolition people, listen up. You want to make it to showdown? Bust your fucking ass and prove prove it that you want to be with the with us up here on the main show prove that you want to be a champion because the hardcore title and the bombshells title that's okay for a while we have the major titles prove it show up and shut us the fuck up pretty much and prove you belong yep so um well, because, yeah, Showdown is where the big boys play. So exactly. if you're going to dilly-dally and you're going to play around in demolition, think you're going to come up here and just walk in the show and be the shit, you got another thing coming. Sooner or later, someone's going to come across you and put their foot squarely in their ass. Whether that's me, Big Lev, Demi, Randy Fields, Ryan Payne, even Orton over here, someone's going to mess you up if you ain't on your game. You come up here for a yeah. reason. Show it. Exactly. And I'm eight wins, three losses, one draw that I don't count as a loss because of war games, you want to shut me the fuck up? Beat me. Johnny right. V's already done it. He's earned my respect. He beat me. Demi May, former two-division champion, earned my respect. She's with us now. You want you, you want to be an old-school 
or Come if you want to be Bullet Club, or if you want to be anywhere that really matters, prove it, get the show down, and show that you fucking belong and you're not a fucking wash up. All right, now let's talk about a little more about demolition. What happened this past Monday? Um, the Rock came out and said we're gonna have a five bombshell ladder match at Road to WrestleMania. I saw that. Now the tournament matches have already been in place. There's only two this week, but and another two next week. Whoever wins those matches, they get a spot on there. So let's talk about it real quick. First match is Lacey Vicious versus Alicia Hicks. Uh, second match is Bailey versus Duchess. Now, this one's a little more interesting, I would say, because Duchess has been going off saying that she's deserved a shot at the Bombshells title. She wants the shot. She's basically she saying... she deserves it, what the hell has she done to deserve it? That's what people are kind of questioning. Like, what did she do exactly to deserve it? So, th- so we're, we put her in a match against Bailey. To kind of see if she really does deserve it. If she really wants it, she should she'll destroy Bailey. And if not, then she's not that serious. Who knows? Um, We've had a lot of not serious people show up to WMH and wash out like crazy. And even now, Johnny V could agree with that. Pretty much. Yep. All right. Match three. We have Roman Powers versus Rose Cortez. Uh, match four is a debut of a new guy, Matthew Moore versus Robert Saints. I know Matthew Moore. I know Moore. Robert Saints. I, I know oh, Matthew Moore. Oh, he's part of the Saints Army. Hey, Moore, I know you're listening, buddy boy. I'll be seeing your ass real soon. Uh, match five is Annalise Vans versus Latoya Hicks versus a returning Pandora Barrett. Wait, Get she's the back? fuck out of here. I thought I closed that box once and for all. I thought Johnny B killed the Yes, box. Pandora, Pandora. <laughs> Yep, she, she, Does this here. mean that we're gonna have to kill the box again? Well, no, she's we're not gonna have to kill the box. No, I'll just. Well, I'll she's just on demolition. Leave so, a present in there, so. Well, she's on demolition, so you you guys won't have to worry until she gets promoted. Hey, I'm a firm believer of Pandora, and as long as she her. stays away from Matthews, that box will be closed. No, I did not fall in. To right. that particular box. So, <laughs> all right. Now, match six is Lily Walker versus Jesse Jones. She's who? Uh, Jesse Jones. She lasted. She was the second to per- last person of the Demolition roster to be in the Rumble. Yep. So she was. Who's the, the top- first? Uh, Blackout. So Blackout gets a hardcore title shot. Awesome. Yep. Um, and uh, Jesse Jones will be proving. That she deserves a bombshells title shot. So this should be an interesting match to watch. Match seven, we have the Order, Blackout, and Phantom versus Chris Orton and Harlow Orton. I guess they're married now. So I guess, again, more Orton ripoffs of the original right here, fuckers. And match eight, we have a special guest referee, which is Annalise Vance, and it's Caleb Foster versus John Blade. John Blade. Blade. John Blaze has been running his mouth lately saying he deserves a hardcore title shot, yada, yada, yada. So, Caleb came to um, to The Rock and also to myself and said, look, if John Blaze wants, wants this so badly, have him face against me in a non-title. And if he wins, he gets the shot. If not, he shuts up. So, so Caleb Foster is uh, the arts formerly known as Killer, right? Yes, he yeah. is. Yeah. I'm... I've been there with Killer. He deserves that title. Congratulations, and... buddy. Hope you lose it soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wise words from Jay Gordon. And the main event, it's an interpromotional match between it's a demolition versus showdown. It's Brady versus Equinox. Ooh, Brady's gonna lose. Again. I don't know. A guy I know from I don't I don't know. I, I mean I don't know. I like Brady. Brady I mean, did you, really well in the Rumble, actually. That explains why the hell you showed up New Year's Eve with a mask on your face, butt-ass naked. Hey, With hey, my hey, title hey. around you. That mask has got nothing to do with Brady. And shh, bullshit. it's a secret. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> you showed up with freaking Ultimo Dragon's mask on your face, butt-ass naked, with my yeah, that was former World Heavyweight title around you. All right, well... 
Also, what's going on here? I don't what know. What goes but... on Twitter stays on Twitter. Jamie, no. nothing happened. <laughs> no. So, children, what the fuck is going on? Adrian, corral this. Hey, let me just put it this Look, way. I'm actually stoked for this. This is a really cool concept. Don't do it every week, but I like this little inner branding demolition showdown thing. And I'll volunteer myself to do it in a couple of weeks. Let's get after the next pay-per-view. Drop me down there for one week and let me go down there and take okay, on some well, top. And let's, hey, let's you know happen. what? You I know, know Johnny V? I'm the older guy is going down to show an example. I don't want to be like upstaged him. by the world champ, well, world tag team champion, Johnny V. You're going. I'm going to. But give me the best at demolition you can give me. I oh, want yeah. to put on a good show. All right. Well, the reason for this is because The Rock said we need we need to see how demolition people can really do with Showdown. So yeah. we we decided, OK, let's give him Equinox. Let's see how Brady does with Equinox, because we've been watching Brady a lot lately and he's been. I like him. We've been he's been improving that a lot and showing a lot. that and oh, he's shishy. been he's been showing that he he's as Johnny V would say, he's he's starting to get it. It's starting to get it, man. It's starting to get it. I totally like that concept. When a guy's like on the verge of, hey, this guy might be the next one to come up, throw a showdown guy down there. Let's see what he's got. I mean, win, mm-hmm. lose, or draw, you're going to be able to tell. And yeah. Equinox is a proven vet. So Equinox is going to be able to come out of this match and go, hey, this kid's for real. I you know, have straight, a question it's about real. Equinox, though. I thought he was supposed to have like a world title shot at some point. He or was they, supposed to am I still five months stoned? ago. Yeah, I think he, that, that yeah, it's like 2012, and then he just kept milking it, switching it. No, no, I'm going to go for this one. It's a hold on, wait a minute. And then we move on, and he's like, oh, well, where's my title shot? You, you missed it, bud. You missed it. Adrian, he, I had he, an he, idea. He, he, he traded it in for the international, and he didn't. He came up short with it at the Royal Rumble. Ash Renee is now the champion, as everyone knows. Uh, Adrian, I have an idea, a potential idea for a main event on Showdown in a few weeks. If you want to book it, that's cool. If you don't, hey, I threw my idea out there. Well, first, Equinox versus well, Jay Gordon. Uh, maybe. Hell, well, damn. we have to we have to see we have to see how well Equinox show you know shows on demolition first. Hey, it's just he, an idea. Because he's technically, if you think about it, he's representing Showdown. That's on, a good point. On demolition, and if he f- comes up short, then I think he as, as, as Johnny, Johnny, what was in that beer you put and you gave me after Rumble, man? What was in the beer? Nothing. That's are what I tell sure? all the ladies. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Because my memory is kind of hazy. Yeah. We know how all, right. To <laughs> all right. We now. party, party right. This is where the big boys play. Yeah. Hey, we we did I party, man, and I did I did live stumble. up to what I said. If we lost, I'd pay the bill. I did it. You owe me fifty thousand, you drunk son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, now that's, of that's course, a tip. It's good. We, we're all straight. We're all straight. Right. Now, of course, scheduled to appear on demolition, we got East Michaels, Xavier Cage, Drake Darkness, The Rock, and Stefan Rab. So, yeah, well, you know what? You might have the real athlete stop by. Maybe I'm going to go down and, you know, give some noogies and rub some heads and see what the fuck these kids are up to. Maybe the real athlete will pop up on Demolition. Hey, oh, really? Third Bullet Club's name in that hat. We're going to be at Demolition Monday night. Okay. All right. Well. You hear that, Demi? We're going to be there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we got to show these fuckers what real people look like. And if Johnny V's going, really? we got to go to. Yes. Why? Really. Why? Because we're better than them. That's why. Now, carry you on, boss man. that I have a daughter to look after as well, right? Well, apparently. I have a daughter, too. Her, she's yes, 17. She can watch her. Mine's a baby. I do have to disagree, though. Leave her not, all the time. I sure, sure can watch her. The reason I'm going to go down to demolition isn't because I'm better than them. It's I because know, I, just, am them. I, I am them. These are our brothers and sisters, and we're all batshit crazy enough to do what we do on a continual basis. So I want them to know I was there at one point. I did my share of dark matches. I learned my craft the hard way. So go down there and let them know you can fucking do it. Put your nose to the grind. Put your nose to the grind. I'll be there. There's going to be a few that I'll call out to pick up this shit, and there's going to be a few I'll call out to let them know, hey, kid, you got moxie and spirit. Keep it up. Who's the general manager of Demolition Rock? Uh, it's, right. it's, 
It's well now it's two, I believe. We're in talks with Xavier Cage and he's thinking of possibly stepping down for now. So it's well, Rock and Drake Darkness. However, um Showdown is also in talks of a new assistant general manager too. How Randy many Orton. assistant general managers do they need? Apparently enough to not book a rematch between Bullet Club it's and Old School. And, to oh, be exact. By the way, and that's Johnny for tax v. purposes alone. So just don't don't question it. Yeah, true. <laughs> Johnny V, I did hear what y'all said about wanting to face us again. From the bottom of my heart, let's tear this shit down at Road to WrestleMania. You're on. I'm down. I'm down. Oh, so that is that official. You're saying you want your rematch at Road to WrestleMania. Yes, let's let, tear let, down let, the house one not, more time. We're not, we're not they called us. They called we us out. It. They said they wanted us because what Tio did, uh, my instructions. But we're going to tear the house down. Okay. And Demi, oh stay yeah, the hell just, away just make sure me. that you know, Tio I'm doesn't hell spend hell more time right. picking up mascara and guy liner and just focuses on watching the old hey. matches. And uh, learning some new Leave, leave Tio Johnny. alone, okay? I'm going to get my hands on that pip speak. I'm going to make him scream like a little girl, even though he already looks like one. But we ain't going to get Tio into that. What we're going to talk and about is... And then you place your hands on him. I may have to break said legs with unlucky all right, one, uh, so. It's all right. Have you seen the guy that stands behind me, Big Lev? Goddamn, that ain't no joke right there. Hey, I'm not Lev, worried about it. Lev clotheslines like a motherfucker. I still got a headache from Sunday night. Well, Shit. that's how that's how it is, you know. Like we yeah. weren't scared of either of you. Just so, so, so from the looks of it, we have possibly three matches. We have the Iron Man match between Nick Sanderson and Chris Matthews, the World Tag Titles now officially, and official, and the five bombshell ladder match. Yep. Already three matches. So And the only reason why I'm making this match official is because when Jay Gordon steps into a building, somebody calls him out. I ain't one to back down. These tattoos, they cover up all my damn scars. I'm not afraid to add more to my body. But, Johnny V, <laughs> let me ask you this. Should we do this a traditional one-fall match, or should there be uh, some stipulations to it? Make it more interesting for the fans. We can get there. It's it's called about building money. We got to book a showdown. Let's save this. Save it, kiddo. We can't drop it all right now. We can't. Here's my thing, though. That's that's the inevitability. That's the one thing. Someone's going to win or lose. So now, if Lev and I win, who do we take on going into WrestleMania? So I'm calling out all the other tag teams. Time to pick your game up. Old school already went through the Devil's Rejects, and them boys falling apart. Right, Demi? You got some problems yep. over there. Yeah, yeah but you see, going through us, we're not going to fall apart. To again. I know you're not going to fall apart. Now we'll see what happens going forward. So my point is, the tag division is falling apart. Where is these new tag teams? And we were just talking about demolition. I kind of like the order. Those guys got to look. Wouldn't mind working with them. Shit like that. But pick it up, boys. Tag team divisions for real. And it starts with old school. You've got to come through us if you want those titles. And you just heard it from the current World Tag Team Champion half, Johnny V. Now, from the former champion to all the tag teams out there, pick your shit up, all right? This is our division. This is our time to prove that these that the tag titles are not irrelevant. The tag titles are relevant. And hell, I may be biased being a two-time champion, but I'm going to say this now. I want to make the World Tag Team titles more important than the international. I want more important than the damn World Heavyweight title. I want all the tag teams and tag division to listen up to me. You got what it takes to want to take on one of us? Fucking prove it. Fucking prove it and shut me up. Then, maybe then... You might be able to do what we couldn't do. I highly doubt you'd be able to, but you might be able to beat old school. Well, I mean, since you bring up other tag teams, let's just go over them real quick. I mean, we have um, the Knights of Apocalypse, which is Jacob Cass and Lance Adams. They just newly formed. 
Um, Domination Inc. That's another new tag team that just been formed. It's Harlow Michaels and Lady Vicious. Who? Yes. These are all demolition teams so far. Oh, that's uh, fine. Mm-hmm. No. Wait, uh, isn't Harlow Michaels in a? That's a Harlow like Michaels was a lesbian. Team. Well, I guess this is the stable too. It's Vicious Impact, which is uh, Harlow Orton. I guess that's her new name now. Chris Orton, Ace Michaels, and Lady Vicious. Hmm. So, uh, Johnny, I just got an idea for WrestleMania match. Also, we have Darkness Poison, which is Morgan McGinn and Rose Cortez. Uh, we have the Order. Um, I believe Iron Fist is still still around. Yeah, I've been talking to Everett. You know, he's a good buddy of mine, despite the long fucking history there. I've been talking to Everett, and pretty soon he'll be coming back. Maybe. I'm still in the process of trying to, you know, pay him off to come back out of my own fucking pocket. All right. So. Well, um, but like I said, the tag teams are there. They're just on demolition or they just newly formed. So they're so there's so as like Johnny V said, they're trying to get their name out. So, yes, they are. Nothing but wrong with that. I want to pick like I said, a, I'm digging blackout. Watch demolition this week. I'm digging blackout. I want to pick a tag team of the future one. To keep your eye on from the damn virus himself. Order. Listen up. I got my eye on y'all. Prove me wrong. Well, let's talk about Blackout for a little bit. He decided, because there have been talks about even promoting him to Showdown. But the the, sti- the there was a little error there because he decided, you know what? I'm going to go after the hardcore title instead. Because he did have that choice, either get promoted or go after Hardcore. Because he did win the stipulation of the Royal Rumble where the last demolition guy that's still in the ring, even if he's eliminated, he gets he, he wins the Hardcore title shot. Exactly. And if you earn it yeah. like that and it's gold, you go for it. Period. I don't yeah. care. I don't care. If I, I was down there, that's exactly what I would been, do. Yeah, yeah so. I thought Blackout might have been on the final two. I, I mean, he was that damn good. I was in the damn car watching it while Tia was driving. I was watching an iPad. I saw Blackout had it, man. But congrats to Sanderson. Hey, I was one of the final three. I saw it firsthand. The kid's got He's got it. I'm telling you, it's one of those things where you just <laughs> get in the ring with the guy. You do your business. You work your spots. You get out. You go, this fucking kid's got it. He's got and it. I'm going, to, I'm going to say this now. Demi knows I don't really endorse too many people too much, and the club don't. <laughs> My pick for next year's Royal Rumble winner, if we last that long, is the greatest of all fucking time, Mr. Johnny fucking V. That's my pick to win next year's Should've Rumble, if we last that long. Should have won it this year if it wasn't a little pipsqueak. Oh, good Lord. Hey. hey no. uh, nothing, sweetie. Nothing, 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 nothing. Demi, it's between Demi, me and okay. him, or me and her, whatever his name is. Demi, it's okay, you know. If they have to fight it out, that's fine. But, like I did all January leading up to Rumble. I have nothing but fucking positives. I know I'm a heel. I know I'm the bad guy. I'm supposed to be saying fuck Johnny V and everything. But I I'm say not. fuck Johnny V. <laughs> yes, we have, haven't we? I think we've had screaming <laughs> matches before on this podcast. It's documented. You have. Uh, yes, yes. yes. We have. Well, I have a question. What the hell is the Randy Fields versus Demi May podcast? Where's that at? Well. That's Which a good one? <laughs> I've been waiting for that shit to come out just so I could sit there and listen to all the bullshit being said. Uh, well, it'll I'm sure it'll have one of these days. Now, yeah. now let's talk about Stefan Rab just a little bit because we didn't I mean we talked uh, a little bit of about, about him on the Royal Rumble edition of this podcast, but let's talk about him a little more. He's actually tempting to come back as a wrestler after that Royal Rumble showing. Hey, shot of whiskey for Stefan Rub. First shot of whiskey of the night there, folks. But I'm going to have a shot of whiskey for Stefan Rub. Where's my A-Rub. shot of whiskey? Man, I'm keeping up with you every time except tonight. Where you know, the hell's mine at? I don't know, but Stefan Rab, he got a surprise cheer from everyone when he came out. Um, and he basically just showed that he, he was doing this for his friend. It was a lot of people seem to forget that this was a Memorial Royal Rumble match. Yes, Ryan so, Reigns was my friend too. I've 
You can go ask Chris Matthews, boss. I'm sorry I keep interrupting you, but you can go ask Matthews. I've gone through countless wars with Iron Fist. Ryan Reigns was a good buddy of mine. I'm sorry, Ryan, you know, that I didn't do that well in your memorial battle role, but I know you're up there smiling at the fact that we're keeping wrestling alive in your name, buddy. All right. Well, let's talk about your performance at the Royal Rumble there, Jake. Oh, God, and it was coming what? sometime. I mean, uh, you basically got – you you went in and then – got thrown the fuck out. Yeah, you got, I know. Yeah, you got thrown out. I believe it was by JV. It was by Johnny. Uh, like, he literally did a choke slam, and he just threw you literally over the top rope, and you landed on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the thing you don't realize, though, is is that me and Johnny, actually Bullet Club in old school, we had a bet going on for uh, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, our match, actually, where if, you know, old school lost, they have to buy us beer and all that shit, pay for it. But if we lost, not Tio, but me, we'd have to pay for all our shit. He owes, pay for nothing. he owes me fifty thousand dollars now because that bar tab and them girls were expensive there, buddy. Well, didn't you, well, didn't you? Well, you said that you would pay for it. So why? You, you know my reputation. Uh, I like, really do. Sadly, yeah. But well, the reason why he owes me that is I didn't realize how short on money I would be come car payment this year or this month. Yeah, LFEs are not cheap, man. Mm-hmm. Shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, all right. But I guess either way, so. Stefan stepped it up. That was my surprise of the night. I mean, you talk about a performance. The, the guy put it on. The guy put it on. Showed he, showed he still had it. And, you know, I shook his hand afterwards because he, he hell of a performance. Hell of a performance. Who, me? No, Stefan. Oh, Stefan. Yeah. You came yeah. in. I put you back out. We're, we're good with that, bro. But, I mean, that yeah. kid, Stefan. I call him kid because we're both probably the same damn age, but you know what I mean? Yeah. He surprised the hell out of me. I didn't see that one coming. I didn't see that one coming. I even said that when I cut my promo. I was like, Stefan Rob, who? I knew he was screwing around in demolition doing this or that. I didn't see that in the guy, and he showed me up. I know uh, Stefan's I know Stefan's going to be able to understand me whenever I say this because we're both German. But uh, Stefan, good. Mm. Good, good, good. Hmm. That's true. All right. Well, as as we would say, let's just call it right now. We already discussed showdown. We already discussed demolition. Um, any last comments from the three of you? Um, can't wait for Rhodes WrestleMania. I can't wait to see the hell that's going to be put that the fans going to be put through in the rematch for World Tag Titles. You know, again, I'm supposed to be a bad guy. I'm supposed to be dissing Johnny B over here, but you know, I'm breaking character. This is still Jake Gordon, but I'm breaking character as far as my alignment's concerned tonight. Johnny, congratulations. Tell Big Love, you know, if my neck's broken, he's paying for my hospital bill, because that shit still hurts. It's all good. But but congratulations, man. We'll do it again. Just, you know, tell your buddy, be ready. Be Um, ready. We'll be ready. We will be studying y'all because well, no, you'll no, be ready. Just let let that little pipsqueak Tio know. Be ready. Tio will be fine. We didn't oh, study. I must say this: we didn't study y'all too much because one heart over here had me out doing media appearances to help build up interest. Tio doesn't need to study on people. And you know, so I didn't really get to help him study too much, but. Come Rhodes WrestleMania. You doesn't need to study. I've yes, never the stu- fucking... No, I've never studied anyone in my life. He I'm needs to. St- he needs to study because Levinator and Johnny V, as good as they are, have weaknesses. He needs to know them. He doesn't need to study. I can give him the weaknesses quickly. I know the weaknesses. I can give it to him straight. Look, just because you're a co-leader now, I'm still the head guy. He's studying. He ain't studying. He's my best friend. He's my boyfriend. Shut up. He's Mm. he's my best friend. He ain't studying. Oh, wait. So, okay, wait. So, here's the big question. Who would Tio listen to the most? Me. Demi or or Jay? No, me. Me. I'm the head guy. I'm the one who founded Bullet Club. He's known me longer. Me. He's known me longer. 
Oh, really? Was he champion with you? No, didn't think so. He's listening to me. He, I've known him since he was 15. He's going to listen to me. Nine. Nine. Yes, me. Nine. Me. Nine. JV, me. This kind of, JV, I'm sure you're probably happy like this is why I don't date in the industry. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why I stick the high class hookers. That's no, the way to go, bro. I might have it. It was my best hey, friend. Hey, Johnny V, where are we drinking tonight, buddy? Oh, I'm drinking some high end. Johnny Walker Blue Label all day, every day. Hey, mm -hmm. send me a bottle, man. I might want to try that. All right. Best well, shit on earth. <laughs> hey, so, send it. You know. Send it to the German address. All right. Don't send it to the American one because I'm never home. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well. It, you wanted closing words, so here's closing words. Demolition, get ready. The greatest of all time, WWH is resident go. I'm coming there, so be ready. Be and, ready. And to the tag team division, show up, prove it, that you belong to hang with Bullet Club in old school. All right, and with that note, let's say goodbye, and I would like to thank Johnny V, Demi May, and our guest today, Jake Gordon. The German virus, thank you very much. So make sure to like us, subscribe, and add us on Facebook at WWHEFED. Make sure to follow all these guys on Showdown and on Demolition. You know, we do our best to make great results and, well, not great results, but we show great uh. results on TV, pay-per-view, even on house YouTube. Shows. And yeah. house shows as well. Uh, make sure to follow all these guys on this coming show. Don't follow me. Okay, don't follow Demi. Okay, nobody follow Demi. Adrian, can I steal your closer real quick? Can I just say it, please, one time? Okay. If you got what it takes, join WWH and prove it. Show us you got what it takes, man. Okay. And with that, we say good night and make sure to uh, watch Demolition this Monday and, of course, Showdown this Thursday. And with that, we say good night. Later, guys. Jawohl. We do. Uh,